Hello. Today I'll briefly talk about another important post-colonial concept, nativism. Okay, nativism generally have different meanings depending on what field you are thinking about. So for example, in philosophy, nativism is when we attribute any innate qualities to an individual or a group where we believe that certain fixed innate qualities exist in people or group. Within the post-colonial theory, the idea of nativism was always mobilized as a strategic move. The idea was to posit that in terms of colonial exchange between the colonized and the colonizer, the colonized could go back into their own past, recover their own native cultures, and then jettison all the Western influences from them, hence retrieving a pure pre-colonial native culture. Now that is pretty debatable because there are there is a group of scholars like Gayatri Spivak uh, and Homi Baba who argue you know, somewhat that such kind of retrieval is impossible, even though Spivak also agrees and acknowledges that in most post-colonial nationalist movements, a natural and essentialist idea of the native culture and native history was mobilized to fight against the colonizers. And that is what she calls strategic essentialism. For Baba, uh, such retrieval is impossible because it is impossible to go back in history and then find whatever we find in historical texts and bring them to present without that present still being contaminated or impacted by the hybrid culture that develops in the colonies. By and large, the term nativism or being a nativist is considered a negative term in post-colonial theories. So when you're writing something, anytime you make certain essential claims about the native cultures, about the indigenous cultures, you have to be careful in not coming across as a cultural nativist or an essentialist. So it's always good to point out that if you're making a nativist argument, that it is a discursive argument and that you understand that you do not believe in fixed essences, historical, individual or collective. So being a nativist then means when one relies or believes that somehow we can now go back in history and retrieve a pure culture and then shape our lives according to it, according to it. or when we believe that those native qualities are fixed in us. And if we can retrieve them, we can supplant the European influences. And here is one more reason why we ought not to think in nativist terms is because it is essentialist. It believes in fixed essences. And the entire edifice of the colonial structure was built on fixed essences because that is what the colonizers believed or discursively tried to prove that the natives had certain fixed qualities, fixed essences, and those were mostly negative. <clears throat> now, there are some contemporary usages also of the term nativist, especially in the metropolitan cultures and in America, Canada, or, or the European Union, wherever being nativist now means that you are a person who believes that there are rights of native born citizens of these countries and that the rights, privileges and entry of the immigrants should be curtailed. So um, the contemporary uses then is if you're being a nativist, you're being a sh nationalist and you're anti-immigration. And the term is highly contested by the right as well because they call themselves the patriots instead of nativist. But most of the times when we say that someone, an individual or a group is being nativist in America, Canada or Britain, what we mean is that these people believe in an anti-immigration philosophy and policy and want laws that would either curb or stop immigration. And the extreme form of it, of course, gives rise to a certain kind of nativist xenophobic nationalism. So 
to conclude within the post-colonial politics and discourse, nativism was a strategy which relied on assuming that there were integral native cultures that were destroyed by Europeans and the retrieval of those was necessary to mobilize a nationalist movement. Most nationalist movements do that. Some go and retrieve a pure idea of religion or culture. But we all know that that retrieval, if not impossible, is extremely hard. So any time when you make a claim to the native culture and you want to use it to supplant the contemporary culture, what has to be kept in mind is that that retrieval is textual and discursive and that in our argument, we should no, not come across as if we believe in essential fixed past native cultures or identities. And that is what we are retrieving because that would necessarily then um, correspond with the stereotypes that the Europeans had already created about the natives. So that's briefly uh, my take on uh, nativism. If I left something out and if you would like me to add or expound on something more, please feel free to uh, put it in the comments. And please also do subscribe to the channel if you like and would like to be notified what I record next. So as usual, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Thank you.